It is called the silent thief of sight, but so many don't know what glaucoma really is. Today, Dr. T. Hunter Newsom and Dr. Vanita Srivastava join us to explain it. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So yeah, let's dive into this uh, glaucoma because it's one of those terms we hear it a lot, but I don't know if we necessarily know exactly what it is. Unfortunately, a lot of people dealing with this. How do you explain what it is, Dr. S? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, glaucoma is the second leading cause of blindness worldwide and is the top three uh, cause of blindness here at home. It affects the optic nerve, which is the cable that connects the eyeball to the brain. It's usually caused by high eye pressure, but people with normal eye pressure can have glaucoma as is well. Is it painful? There are no symptoms with Ooh. glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So what does it do? What's the issue then with it? It causes damage that takes away your peripheral vision first, which is why people don't notice that anything's going on, which is why we call it the silent thief of sight. It's only when it starts to affect your central vision, that's when people notice that something's going on, and by then it's too late. Too late, oh no. All right, so then how do we get ahead of this? How do we mm -hmm. notice it sooner? So unfortunately, there's no cure. So the most important thing is getting the regular eye exams, preventative mm. eye exams, absolutely. Is there something in particular during these eye exams that should be done? I feel like you can opt yeah. out of some things. I don't know, <laughs> make sure I'm not doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, getting your pressure checked. Okay. And having your optic nerve looked at. And anybody in particular who's more of a, maybe more of at a higher risk? I don't know um, if it's age or mm -hmm. gender or? Absolutely, so um, people generally um, older, uh, it happens to people older in life, usually over 65. Mm -hmm. It does tend to run in families, so if you have a family history of it, you're okay. more at risk. Um, it does um, tend to be more severe in African Americans as really? well. Mm -hmm. So I don't, is that more of the hereditary kind of Field too, there you're just seeing it more? Uh, correct, and it, it's just studies have been shown that okay. it tends to be more severe. If we know that mom or dad has had it or grand, I mean, do we need to really be making sure that Absolutely. we're getting checked for it? Mm -hmm. If you know that you have a family history, especially if someone's gone blind from glaucoma already, you should be coming in around 40, 45 to get eye exams. Yeah, age 45. this is so important, uh, as we've mentioned before, that you have a good team that can uh, really understand what this uh, disease, or I mean, is it a disease? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, what it can do, why it's important to catch it early. I know you're so proud to have her um, as part of your team as yes, well. Yes, I mean, we've done a lot of research, a lot of mm -hmm. developments in uh, cataract surgery, as well as seeing tons of patients with glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So bringing Dr. S along has really brought Newsome Eye to a new level. Mm -hmm. um, and I think not only our practice, but I think the Tampa Bay area, having somebody with her skill and her expertise, we've really been needing and wanting someone like her for quite a while. So she's a big addition, not only to Newsome Eye, but the whole yeah. community. I'm gonna put you on the spot. I'm kind of just interested to know, are we any closer to finding what causes it or finding a cure? I mean, obviously that's gotta be the goal at some point. Yeah, there's a lot of studies um, looking into that, obviously. We know a lot of different factors that mm -hmm. can cause it and a lot of risk factors, but no, there's still no cure. Does it fascinate you as a doctor who's do having to do surgery? Yeah, you absolutely. Know? You, you know, the good thing is we have a lot of different treatment options okay. now. You know, uh, back in the day, we only had drops really, or oh, wow. you know, and then the next step was a really severe surgery and that was it. But now we have drops, a gentle outpatient laser treatment, a surgery you can go combine with cataract surgery, and we still well, have we're moving surgical in the options. right direction. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if someone has questions, they want to find out more. Uh, I love that you're so open with saying, hey, give us a call, right? I mean, that's kind of the first step. Absolutely. And again, three locations here in the Bay Area. And uh, you can have new some eyes, as we like to say as well. This is just one of the many things that you guys treat. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. We thank appreciate it. Thanks. And of course, there is their phone number to call. Again, three locations here in the Bay Area. And they have a great website that can help answer a lot of questions as well. Thank you both so much. We look forward to having you back. Thanks. Thank you.